but check it out guys I thought my hood fan burned up but we had a mud dauber I doubt you can see it a mud dauber got in somehow through the vent outside which I don't see how I mean it looks like it stays closed but the wind might have been blowing that day I don't know but he was building right on top of the fan blade so it stuck the fan blade to the motor and it wouldn't turn and I started looking up in there seeing what kind of motor I was gonna have to buy and I noticed it he's gone I don't see anything up there so I'm trying to get it cleaned out now I put an old pan that we're getting rid of down here to try to catch some of it I'm trying to get it up out of there it's not easy guys they was working their butts off that thing is huge yeah there you go just mud is that crazy chunk fell there that's nuts. I don't know. They never actually got into the RV, thank goodness. It has this, this it has the screen that goes up there. And that stopped them, thank goodness. Got it back up there, and it is working now. I need to clean that light out too. It's like some crap up in there. All right, at least that fan is working. I did not want to have to deal with that. Hey, what's up guys? I don't know if you can see that. It was over 100 degrees in this RV because my main breaker popped and would not reset. I'm guessing it burned up. It's an old Westinghouse 3020. See, it won't reset but anyway I searched all over town thought we was going to die in here this one is rigged in there for now because it does not fit right but it is a 3020 and it did lock onto the back it just doesn't push back all the way so I'm going to have to order the right one but this one's gonna save our life for now. I had to take the dogs and the cat with me and leave the car running. Every store I went into, I tried Menards, I tried Lowe's, I tried Home Depot, nobody had a 3020. I ended up calling an electrical place and they had one really close that worked. But, oh my goodness. Crazy. Yeah, I thought I could try two, a 30 and a 20, but if you do two they don't lock on the same in the back so that didn't work but anyway it is steaming hot up in here the air is back on and it's dropping thank goodness down to 96 now 
but man that's not what I was expecting guys it is almost 100 degrees outside today so yeah crazy stuff happens in an RV I don't know I was sitting here about to make lunch it was about 1230 or so turn on the microwave and lost all power so I tried the breaker outside I thought maybe the RV part lost power started the generator still couldn't get nothing through check my breaker box and my main wouldn't reset so yeah I'm sweating like crazy here yeah crazy stuff but I got it fixed for now I'm gonna have to order the right one probably because I don't know where else to try there's not a lot more places in St. Joe yeah crap happens all right guys see you on the road stay cool